Welcome to Focus Washington. I'm Chuck Kinconi. My special guest here today is Adam Goldberg, who's with the Oracle Law Firm, and you're in crisis management. Now, of course, you got most of your training the tough way at the Clinton White House. That's what did you learn there that is, you've been able to put in practice? That's right. Well, you know, I, I sort of call my practice the three legs of the stool, or th uh, practice. We sort of touch on the media, the legal, yeah. and the political. Um, when we, we represent clients when they have legal issues that intersect with either the media or the politics. So when they have high profile legal issues or anticipating high profile legal issues. Well, you're looking at uh, this administration now. One of the biggest problems that has affected this president has been the Pelosi issue. How do, you, how do you handle an issue like that where the Speaker of the House is someone who's very important to you as President of the United States from the same party, and yet she has said some things that are really complicated for you that cause you embarrassment? Well, you, you follow through on, on your positions, you stick to your guns, but the most important thing is you try to make sure that people like Pelosi don't repeat the same mistake. And her biggest mistake was the failure to be prepared for, for what has happened. It really is inexcusable for somebody of her political experience and her staffs and her operatives not to have anticipated this issue. And it's really a good lesson for companies as well to anticipate what the potential crises are going to be and then get ready for them. Well, I've talked to political leader type senators, congressmen, people like that, and they say sometimes they're overly protected by their own staffs. Their staffs don't want to give them bad news, or what they'll do is they won't they love them too much, and they protect them the wrong way. Is that, is that what you've run into in your experience? Uh, no, that is not my experience. I mean, I, I understand that principals like to say that, but in my experience, it's the opposite, that the, the staff go overly aggressive trying to get the principals ready for what's going to happen. Uh, I certainly run into a lot of bad staff work, and I think in this situation, you could certainly blame the staff as much as you could blame uh, Speaker Pelosi. But no, in, in, in my experience, uh, the staff go overboard trying to get their principal prepared so that they're not embarrassed. So that's what you do. I mean, you have you been, uh, have you done this for some senators or congressmen in the same way? Have you come to them and said, this is what you're, you really need to expect? You give them grillings. Right. Well, it's, it's what I did for President Clinton when I was in the White House as, as, uh, as special associate counsel, but it's what I do now for, for companies. And, you know, a big part of what I do is trying to get companies prepared for what they're going to face, or if we get called when they're in the middle of a crisis, you know, ask them the hard questions and get out the hard facts. Uh, we did that, one, one client I did that for was Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. They uh, had a honeymooner go overboard. Oh, I remember that. And, yeah. and the widower and the uh, widower's uh, and the widow and the person who went overboard family came very hard at the, the company. There was a congressional investigation. So we worked very hard with the company to come out with a very aggressive communications plan and one that dealt with a congressional investigation to also help mitigate their legal damages. And it was, they, they did great because there were a lot of false allegations. What specifically did you advise them to do? Well, to, to, you know, they, they were to, sort of playing it low, just letting take the punches, hoping it would go away, which is never a good strategy. Yeah. So they really came out, you know, once we got involved, they came out blasting with the facts, which they hadn't put out. And the facts were, quite frankly, devastating to the people who were making accusations against them. And by putting out a chronology of the facts and it briefing co Congress and getting out there and, and not being afraid of their shadow, it really made a great difference. So that's, it's interesting, and these, they listen to you, but I mean, did you have, was it a tough sell? I mean, I assume sometimes with these corporations it's a tough sell. No, they, they were a great client. And once they realized what was happening and, and, and really absorbed uh, the impact that the nightly cable shows were having on them, they were, they were all on board. They have a great, uh, great leadership in that, a great communications team, and, and it was just a great team effort. Well, as a veteran of the Clinton White House, what, what do you tell this White House? Where, are, are they doing it well so far? I mean, it's, he's only been in not that long, but are they doing it well? Yeah, I think they are doing a pretty good job. I mean, I think they're, they're doing, I mean, if you compare Obama's first 100 days to, to President Clinton's and it was first 200 days, you know, President Clinton's first you know, year was a debacle. And for the most part, President Obama has been able to avoid that by going out being much more aggressive uh, with a much more experienced communications team. Well, the situation on Guantanamo Bay, is he handling that well because he, he took a bad beating in the Senate? Well, I think, you know, you have to recognize that sometimes it's politics. So he's got a lot of different constituencies he's got to uh, give and take from. So he might, you know, he, so he didn't release the, the pictures of, of tortured prisoners, but he release the facts of the tortured memos. And I think he's trying to play a similar game on Guantanamo, trying to balance different constituencies and not let those kinds of side issues get in the way of his primary policy issues like health care. Adam, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm Chuck Conconian, and this has been Focus Washington.